All right, so we're gonna make cookies. Let's go ahead and get all the stuff we need. Let's start off with already made cookie mix. First of all, what do we need? One tablespoon of water, the fuck? Okay, so a one stick, half a stick actually, or one fourth cup of butter, not melted. Well, what the fuck? I'm gonna have to melt it because how in the hell am I gonna mix it? So let's see how I'm gonna do this. Is there another alternative? It has to be softened. Okay, softened. Um, well, first of all, I'm going to need a container. Okay, well, I guess we're going to use this. Just here. Okay, okay. Okay, so that's it in the bowl. Just the cookie mix so far. Okay, well, I had the butter in the refrigerator. So I don't know how I'm going to do this. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Okay. So one, two, three, about four tablespoons is half, half butter. Okay, it says not to melt it, but I'm gonna melt it because I'm not gonna be able to mix hard refrigerated butter. So let's go ahead and melt it. One, one, two, three, four. Da -da -da -da. Okay. I'm throwing it in here. Okay, this is probably completely wrong. But I have no other way to soften up butter. And mixing it with a knife is probably not the best thing, but it's my thing. Let's fuck it. Maybe I should like turn it low. Maybe topping it might help, huh? It's not the cap, but it's enough to trap in the heat. Oh, did I mention I'm not a good baker? It's melted enough. Or softened, should I say, enough. So I'm going to go ahead and pour this in my mix. Alright, so it looks like this now. I didn't add my tablespoon of water just yet. So much water. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this first and then maybe throw in the water. Or throw in the water and then mix it. I don't know. I guess I'll throw in the water. So I just realized I don't have any measuring cups. So I'm going to use a spoon. And measure out what I assume is one cup. I mean, one tablespoon. Probably about that. I guess. And now I'm mixing it. Can you see? Can you see?
Ooh, the chocolates are already melting. My bad. That's why they didn't want it melted butter, because then it'll ruin the chocolate chips. Now it's going to be like double chocolate chip rather than a vanilla chip? No, not a vanilla chip. What is it? Can yeah, it is vanilla. Vanilla and chocolate chip, because a regular cookie is vanilla, right? Because you put vanilla flavoring in it. I don't know, this looks disgusting. Ew. Is this what it's supposed to look like? Is this supposed to look like that? I'm gonna make one big cookie. Okay, I'm assuming it looks like this. Okay. Next up. Get the ingredients out of the trash. Okay, heat oven. Did that. Drop dough. Rounded tablespoon by inch par. Blah, 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 blah. Bake to... Okay. I need a pan. wash my hands because i'm clean like that okay so this kind of looks cute as shit and i think i want to make i'm gonna use this i'm gonna use this it's fine right okay. i'm assuming i butter this up it says it's a non-stick pan but i don't believe so I'm gonna butter up each little ring. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Do you guys also do this by your guys' finger like this? Because apparently I do. I mean, of course they have that non-stick spray, but we ain't fancy like that, okay? We put butter on our finger and rub it around. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, then at least we were humble enough to try. These are going to be some fat cookies. Okay. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Okay. And how much does this make? Makes 12. All right. So, this is the difficult part. Okay, so it says teaspoon. That's about a teaspoon, right? I'm assuming so. Maybe that's a teaspoon. What is? I don't know. I don't make cookies often. Just if it fills up the little hole, it fills up the little hole. There's 12 of them, so we'll see how much it fills up. I tried making brownies the other day, and that was a complete fail. Should have recorded that one. I mean, I did post it on my Instagram story, and everybody saw my failure at life, but that's okay. Because shit happens. Not everybody can be a Rachel Ray or a Martha Stewart. Or a Snoop Dogg, apparently. Okay, that looks like you're being greedy. Can't have all of it over there. Okay, you look pretty good, you look pretty good. Alright, 
So they look awesome as fuck. Look at it. Nice and filled up. Don't look like that. But look at it. And now we wait. Eight minutes. Nine minutes, actually. Nine minutes and 58 seconds. Nine minutes. Oh my god. Okay, I accidentally put nine hours. So let's stop that. Okay, let's cancel that. Stupid me. Stupid me. Okay, well, it's technically been like two minutes, hasn't it? I'll just put seven minutes. Seven minutes. <laughs> so I don't know what to do with my life for the next six minutes, seven minutes. Almost eight hours it was going to be. Those cookies would have been burnt just a little bit. Hmm, what can I do? What can I do? Alright, so the timer went off, but I looked at them and they kind of still don't look like they're done. But I guess I'm gonna pull them out and let them cool. I don't know, I don't make cookies on a fucking muffin sheet. I just thought it would be cute and there would be actual circles. 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 So, let's see, I guess. I'm just gonna pull them out. Yeah, I'm touching them as we speak, as I speak, and I mean, they're like gooey, so I think I'm going to put them back in with like the remaining heat that's locked in here and see what happens. Do you see that fucking fly? beat its ass all right so i put them in the freezers that fucking fly is testing me as i was saying before i got rudely interrupted i put them in the freezer so they can cool a little bit faster so hopefully that works a complete fail. Clearly, I'm not a fucking baker. Clearly, because the top part of them cooked. And so I thought they were done. I placed them in the freezer. And I mean, yeah, like I said, the top part's done. I tried eating it thinking it was gonna be ready. And this. So, Let's act like that didn't happen. And I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the toaster oven and see if they fucking work. Because you know what? If they don't work, I'm gonna throw these bitches outside for the dogs to eat. Bitch. <sighs> so they were undercooked and now they're overcooked. I can never fucking win. We can never fucking win. I don't know how to bake for shit. I know how to cook, but I don't know how to bake. What the fuck? If I could eat my own ass, I'd rather eat my own ass than eat these fucking cookies. <laughs> so I put them in this cookie sheet thinking I was going to get perfect circles with these cookies but look at what the fuck I got crumbs it seems like don't hire me to bake for you because this is what you're going to get I can cook. I... 
Ooh. It can cook very amazing. But when it comes to baking, I cannot bake clearly. Great. So, as you've seen, that was a complete fail. I mean, I guess it is what it is. Cookies will be cookies. Just a little bit of a burnt taste. I mean, no, that's the worst. Hmm. My Wizard of Oz cup. Do you guys like the Wizard of Oz? Have you guys seen the Wizard of Oz? I know that's a silly question because almost everybody's probably seen the Wizard of Oz, but you never know. Some people probably haven't. Like, for example, what have I not seen that everybody else saw? Um... Okay, I haven't seen all the Star Wars movies. I want to, but I haven't seen them all. Have you guys seen them all? I haven't even seen the new ones. The new ones don't, they don't really interest me. I really like the classics of everything. So more so like the older movies are probably a little bit more, you know, appealing, even though the graphics aren't like the best, but I don't know. I prefer like classic films and things like that. I really don't even want to eat these because I'm the... I look at them. I'm so bad. Hmm. I'm so sad they didn't come out the way I wanted them to. I mean, okay, they're not horrible. They taste like regular cookies. They don't even taste burnt. They don't. But, I mean, I put them in the little cupcake container things just so they can be like perfect circles, but it like didn't help. They're like little bite-sized things though, but whatever. It is what it is. Did you guys watch my Pete Burns makeup tutorial just yet? Well, it's more so inspired by his look. Of course, his is so much more better. I guess mine is more like wearable, like on a daily basis. It's, of course, it's extreme, but his is like definitely more pulled back, more blown out. I think I'm just kind of like suggesting maybe his is a little bit more like dramatic because he has like no hair right here. So it's just like he can pull it back a little bit further. Maybe. That's probably, I'm just giving myself like that benefit of the doubt of maybe, possibly. But who knows? Hopefully it came out well. Hopefully I did him justice because I'm a huge, huge Pete Burns fan. Not really fan, but okay, fan. I guess but I mean I do look up to him as inspiration in everything that I do like modern day people don't really I don't find much interest in them like they don't really kind of give off anything that's new everything's kind of like repetitive to what I've already seen before like in the 80s the 70s and everything of that like, I haven't really seen anything, like, new. And I've just, I've always been a huge fan of 
things in the 70s, the 80s, some in the 90s, not really anything in the 2000s because I feel like everything in the 2000s is kind of like been there, done that type thing. Um, there's some people out there that are doing their thing and they're doing it very well. I'm not trying to discredit anybody for doing whatever they're doing, but I don't know. Pete is just one of those people to me that I've grown this attachment to that I've, you know, got a little bit of my style kind of, not from him, but it like a lot of just inspiration from him. I don't know, I'm just digging myself in a hole, I guess. But I don't know, I don't know. I think I'm gonna start doing these like tutorials and then like a mukbang after. So it's like two videos. Like I get to post two videos so you guys get to see double of me. But yeah, so I don't know if I should have like a scheduled day though. Like when I post, when I don't post, only because I don't wanna like promise anything and then you guys are kind of expecting it. For example, like say I'm gonna be posting every Tuesday or something. And what if by the off chance Tuesday, I just completely forget or I just don't do it or something. But yeah, so I just wanna keep throwing as much videos as I can out there as much as possible. Just so you guys can see, you know, more of me get a little bit to know me a little bit so you guys can start asking me questions so I can start doing like Q and A's. So that would be kind of fun. Um, it's my sock by the way. But yeah. So I was telling my friend how disappointed I am on these fucking cookies. And I was like, fuck it. It is what it is. And she was like, I can literally hear you saying that. Cause I say that a lot. Like when shit happens or things don't go in my favor. I'm just like, well, it is what it is. Because, I mean, there's nothing you can do. I mean, of course you can go out and get more cookie mix and make more cookies again. But at the end of the day, if you don't know how to bake, then you're going to get the same results. I don't know how to cook, but I can't bake for shit. At least not yet. Well, I know in a mukbang you kind of eat all the food. I'm definitely going to save these cookies for my family to eat because, I mean, they're just so delicious. I have to let everybody else try them. So I'll eat this last one. And save the rest. Oh. 
Okay, maybe I'll have one more. Do you guys ever eat your guys' cookies with milk or juice or water or air or dirt? What do you guys eat your cookies with? Well, <clears throat> since this video didn't go out as planned, I'm going to go ahead and cut this short. So, thank you for watching me make a fool out of myself, showing you guys that I can't bake. But, I will do a cooking video and show you guys how well I can cook. Okay? Well, thank you for watching. <coughs>